we're going to be working with moving the hair forward in front of the face and then I want to explore, I'm going to do it three different ways. So I'm going to work with the hair at natural fall um, and cut my face framing, then I'm going to over direct forward, then I'm going to over direct up. And what I want to do is I want to show you the difference in what happens from, um, from one to the next. The key point that we're going to be working with is I want to keep my corner in front of the ears. Thank you so much for loving my cutting techniques. I appreciate that. Um, if you guys could type in where you're coming, where you're joining from, I would love that. I always love to see where everyone is from. So I'm going to start by making sure that I keep my length in the front, um, right in front of the ear. This is kind of our key point. So we want to make sure we don't cut that off. Our over direction is going to be super important. So we're going to be over directing the hair forward just slightly um, on our second one, on our first one, that's right. I said I was going to um, work with it in natural fall. I see some people coming in from Texas, Bend, Oregon, Montreal. Nice, UK, Wales, thank you for joining. Okay, so just keep going, I'll read them later. Berlin, New Jersey, I didn't know there was a Berlin in New Jersey. Okay, we met in Nashville. Hi. Hey, awesome. Okay, so let's get started. So we have our mannequin. It's going to be a natural fall, and I'm going to be working with the hair um, at a zero degree elevation. So this is great when somebody has um, finer hair. So if it's finer hair, we want to keep as much bulk to that hair as possible, um, and this will help do that. I see someone from Toronto. I just got back from there yesterday. I was teaching a class at the um, Cow Salon Academy on King Street. Okay, so I'm going to be working with the hair in natural fall. So I'm just combing it straight down. I'm going to take my scissors and work from my, my um, what is it called, the fringe, down. And I'm just opening and closing just slightly and working down the hair. Now I'm using my swivel scissors and these ones are relatively new. I don't know if you guys have worked with the swivel or not before. I was, um, I was working, you just said your friend won the scissors in Nashville. I remember that, that was awesome. Um, I, was, I was working traditionally, because I'm traditionally trained, and I would have come in like this and turned my hand over and worked down. And that's the way I learned, and I still do, do it that way, but I'm enjoying working with my swivels so that um, I can keep my shoulder down, I can work in a little bit different manner. So once again, I just went here. So instead of coming back across, I just took the scissor and the, it swivels, and so you just go like this, and then turn your hand up. So right there, and I can just work down. That's going to be the same motion I'll use on the other side as well. So I'll come over here. I'm gonna keep the hair in natural fall right like that. And then I'll just do the same thing. So I'll just turn the scissor and work my way down. And I'm just opening and closing ever so slightly. So just a little motion like this, just open and close. And so I'm just skimming off that top um, or that front layer right around the face. So what we have then is we have a gentle blending. I need to blend from her right here down. Ooh, and that's kind of fun to slide with them as well. So now we have a really nice blend around the face that leaves as much weight as possible and as much bulk as possible. So I still have my corner, which I don't know if you've ever seen um, when someone comes in and maybe they cut this corner off, the, you have to pull the hair around from the back in order to be able to have any length in the front. So we want to make sure that there's length in the front for the people that want that. Okay, so this is working in pretty much natural fall. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be over directing the hair forward almost at a 45 degree. So if this was zero degrees and that's 90, this is going to be 45 degree angle. So we're going to work here and I'm going to do the same thing. She's up a little bit high for me, but I know you can't see if I don't keep her up high. So the further we over direct this forward, the more hair we're going to remove out of that face frame. And as long as we keep the bottom corner, it really doesn't matter how much we remove. It's all in what you want to see and what your client wants. So if the hair's a little bit thicker, you want to have a softer feeling, we're going to over direct a little bit more. So 
The first one, I was at natural fall. This one, I'm going to be over directed forward. So I'm over directing forward. I can see my guide right here. And I'm going to come in, and this time I'm just going to slide. So I'm just going to take, you can see my hand is in this position, just really comfortable, and I'm sliding down. And I'm going to remove a little bit more hair. So I took out more hair on that one, but I'm maintaining all of my corner at the bottom. Just a little bit more to go. Let me know um, in the comments if you guys have used a swivel before. Um, if you're classically trained and you've been doing hair for a while, you may not have had the opportunity to try them because we're taught how to cut. We were taught how to cut, you know, palm to palm. We keep our wrist straight. That's, you know, that's how you learn to, to cut hair, um, not tipping your wrist back. But so many people um, nowadays, they, they haven't really learned that. And so it's a lot more comfortable for them to cut with the swivel, which is totally fine, which is why I decided to create a swivel in my scissor line. Okay, so we have that side. Now let's do the opposite side. Okay, and actually let's take a look at the difference. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the left-hand side, I'll come in a little bit closer. The left-hand side here, stay up there, Dolly, is where I took a little bit more out. So you can see it's starting to open up a little bit more around the face. And it's a little bit lighter, whereas this side, that was cut straight down at natural fall has a little more bulk to it. So now I'm gonna shift and create a little softer edge on this right hand side. So we'll over direct. And it's very important from side to side that you over direct the same amount because you really shift and change what you're doing with that. So you guys, if you do have any questions, please ask, I'd be happy to um, answer them. So I'm making sure that I'm combing exactly the same way that I did on the opposite side. So I want to make sure that both of them are going to transfer back down and fall away from the face at the same speed, at the same rate. So here we go. And this is where the hair is going to come out. We'll be keeping that bottom edge. Love the swivel discovered 26 years ago, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna be here, I would be here normally, so I'm gonna do right there. You can see that my wrist just kind of straightened out right here. So I'm gonna come behind my hand and I'm just sliding down all the way out to my length. So that extra bit of hair comes out. Okay, so you're so excited to see my live class, is that today or am I coming to your salon? I know I'm going to be in Dallas at Gold Waves Salon. Um, actually, I think it's Fort, it's Fort Worth. And then if there's any clients out there, you guys, I'm going to be taking um, three haircut appointments on the, I wrote it down, on the 11th. So that's gonna be opened up in my schedule. Um, this, I think today or tomorrow, you should be able to book those. So if you know somebody in that area who's been wanting to get in with me, I'd love to see them. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Okay, so now what we've done is we've increased the over direction and then working straight down. Hey, Steve Martin, how you doing? <laughs> I'm in my little salon here in Spokane. Oh, fun. Okay, so um, we over directed the hair forward and so I'm taking a little bit more out of that area right at the front. So the more we over direct the hair, the softer it will be when it falls back to natural fall. So we're going to come in and over direct now and I'm going to elevate as well. I'm gonna over direct stronger and elevate higher. So I'm gonna to need to lower her down so I can actually reach her. I don't know about you guys, but I'm about five, two, five, three. And so um, I'm, I always have my arms up. So the swivels are nice because they're allowing me to keep my, my shoulders down just a little bit. So we'll start on the opposite side again. And this is going to be the softest. We're going to take out the most amount of hair with this particular technique. So just to recap, we started by working with our hair in natural fall and pretty much no elevation. And I just went through and connected the fringe area down to the bottom. So I just connected from the fringe all the way down, keeping the corner right in front of the ear so that she has something that falls in front of the shoulder because that's where that hair comes from is right here on the side in front of the ear. Then we shifted to doing this at 45 degrees. So we moved and shifted the hair forward, 
Let's see if I can show you from the side be easier. So we shifted this hair about 45 degrees forward. Now I'm going to shift all the way up here and elevate. And this is going to take out even more hair, but what I'm doing is I'm going to still keep the corner. So it's just shifting what we're doing to create a different effect. So this is great if somebody has a little bit thicker hair and you're wanting to like get more layers going on inside of this area. If somebody has maybe um, uh, above the cheekbone area, you want to create more fullness, so you need more of that movement going on, this would be a great technique for that. So my swivels, I want to tell you a little bit about those. We actually have them on special right now this month. So we have a scissor of the month all the time on my website. And this month is the swivel scissor. And they're 20% uh, off, so you get like $100 off on them. They're normally $5. 49 and I think they're like 440 or something like that. So I'm going to come in here. I've elevated up. You can see that. And I'm going to come through and just take off a little bit more hair. And you can see I've still got that same end point. Let me turn this way. I think you can see better this way. You have the same end point and the same starting point, but we're taking off more in the middle. So I came through, working this way, working out. You can see that now I'm coming 90 degrees off of that parting and just working out to that end. And I already cut it, so I couldn't cut anymore. So when this travels back, because we pulled it forward further, we're still connecting those same two points, we're taking off more. And you can see how that travels back away from the face and we're really opening up that cheekbone area now. So let's go on to the other side. Let's see if we can compare those two sides. So this one has just a little bit more right in the area right around the cheekbone. Now I'm going to take that out. So I will, I think it's better if I go this direction. There we go. So here we go. I'm going to over direct this forward more aggressively. So we started and natural fall and combed all of this hair down and connected point A to point B. Then I over directed the hair forward about 45 degrees, connected point A and point B. Now I'm comb coming through at almost 90 degrees forward, connecting point A and point B. So what it's doing is it's taking out progressively more each time. So here we go. I've got my short point. I'm going to turn my scissor. Let's see. I could probably go that, that way. I'm still experimenting. It's fun to work with a new tool that I've never worked with. I think I'm gonna come this way. No, nope, I'm gonna come this way. Taking out just a little bit more. And you can see right here, that's where it's gonna come out. Give a little right there. Okay, so we've had three different variations on the face framing. We started with natural fall, we moved the hair, over-directed it about 45 degrees, then over-directed 90 degrees. And so what this has done is it's given us um, a varying degree of layers around the face. So we have that. Now, if you guys are going to be at the premiere show, is anybody going to be at the premiere show out there? Let me know if you're going to be at Premiere. I'm going to be doing a main stage show for Social Art House on, I think it's the Sunday the 2nd, I believe it is. Um, also, I'm doing a classroom with Jack Howard, and he's a fabulous colorist out of um, D.C. area.